Hello and welcome to this Think Computers Fireside Review. I'm Colin Dean and this is the Logitech Tablet Keyboard for Android. It is a Bluetooth keyboard primarily meant for Android devices 3.0 and newer. Um, I'll be testing it out later on my Galaxy Nexus running Android 4.0. It runs about uh, $60-$70 $70 where I found it. Um, it's a very um, sturdy feeling keyboard as it is yet unboxed and I can't wait to open it up. Let's have a look. Now because this is a smaller device I can show you a little more close up of the things that I'm doing as I am doing it. Hopefully the uh, camera will stay in focus as uh, I don't have uh, autofocus on. So, I'm going to pull this open. If I can get it open. It's packed really tightly. And pull the box out. Now, this keyboard, and in some of the reviews that I've read, um, is a little bit heavier than most of the tablets that it is meant to be with. There you can see some instructions, very simple instructions, for how to use it, as well as some support numbers. Very smart packaging by Logitech. Um, minimal, uh, minimal documentation, minimal things to worry about. And one of the cool things about this device is that it has its own little carrying case with it. We'll see just how useful that carrying case can be. Out of the plastic. And I'm just going to rip. This blue thing down here, I'm going to bet, is the stand for the tablet. As I know that this comes out. And there it is. There's the uh, Logitech tablet keyboard. The keys have a are, are chiclet. They feel very um, Mac-ish. Uh, I'm used to using a Mac keyboard there. It's very similar. Not quite as, as light response, but it's there. Uh, here you can see the various icons. Um, there's a tilde, uh, Enya, uh, mail, probably web, calendar, music, and audio playback, volume, delete, function keys down here, home key, search key. Pretty neat. Power button is right there, power slider. And those are, you can't really see them too well on the camera. But they're probably, uh, yeah, yeah, you can't really see them at all. That's the Bluetooth and the power LED. From the side profile, it's pretty thin. It's probably going to be about as thin as many tablets. Um, this area up in here is where the batteries are stored. Unfortunately, that's going to be um, a lot bigger because of having to have batteries in it. Logitech would probably fare well from having some kind of a lithium battery in here, but personally I kind of like having uh, regular cell batteries because if they die I can just put new ones in it rather than having to plug it in to charge it or something like that. It's very good for when I'm on the go, specifically at CES where I'm planning on using this keyboard. I'll take out the, take out the batteries here. Oh, it just takes two batteries. And oh, now it's four batteries. Four batteries in there. So I'm going to take that out. And take that one out. Ah. I think I put that back in the right way. No, I didn't. This is why 
I pull out my trusty knife. And it's ready to go. Now I'm not actually going to um, set this up and work with it right now. This is just an unboxing view. There you can see the keyboard trying to turn on and find something to pair with. Um, it's already switched on. So, that's it. This is the Logitech tablet keyboard. This one is the, the Android model. There's also one for the, for the iPad. But um, a lot of the reviews that I've said of people saying that it's better to get this model because all of the extra buttons, the home button, the uh, search button, whatnot, will all just activate the iPhone or the, I the iPad's single button. Um, whereas if you were to get the iPhone or the, the iPad version of this, then you'd be limited to just one button and it wouldn't work very well with Android's multi multiple functionalities. That's it. This is the Logitech tablet keyboard for Android.